WNDS Sports and Tri-State Megabucks present Candlepin Skins. It's bowling with a whole new twist as New England's best bowlers battle for cash prizes in every box. Candlepin Skins is produced in conjunction with the New Hampshire Candlepin Bowling Association. And now your hosts, Doug Brown and Dan Murphy. Hi, everybody, and welcome once again to the Londonderry Bowling Center here in Londonderry, New Hampshire. Time once again for Candlepin Skins. We're so glad that you've joined us and taken a little time out from the busy holiday season to be with us. Doug Brown along with Dan Murphy. And uh, once again, we have two bowlers returning from a week ago. And uh, those two guys will be Paul St. Pierre and Dan Gothier, who made a very successful debut here with us last week. Yes, both bowling very well. And uh, unfortunately, Paul is having a tough time winning the skins, but he's bowling exceptionally well. Now, we also have, in addition to those two guys, uh, the two guys who will be joining us for uh, this week's show are two guys who actually came in a dead-even tie in the roll-off. And uh, one of them making his first appearance here with us, Mike Curry from Springfield, Vermont. And the other is uh, a veteran of the program, Mike Sargent from Bradford, Mass. That's right, kind of contrasting there. One had never been with us before, and I have to refer to Mike Sargent as a George Foreman of Canopin Bowling. <laughs> and what does that mean? Is he training with cheeseburgers? Is that what he's doing? No, it means he's <laughs> in my generation. <laughs> All right, we've got Skins prize money on the line, of course, and here is how the Skins format works. For those of you who may not be quite up to date on all the rules quite yet, as we've uh, started the program here within the last few months, the four bowlers will compete individually, and they will roll one box at a time. Each box is a separate competition, in addition to the regular total pinfall competition. Each box has a dollar value assigned. If one bowler gets a high box, and only one bowler with the high box for each frame, they will win the money value assigned to that skin. If, however, two or more bowlers tie for the high box score, then it carries over and the money adds up. And, of course, the top two bowlers in total pinfall will return, and you can keep returning as long as you finish in the top two. Here's the money situation. First three boxes each game worth $10 each. Next three worth $15 each. Boxes 7, 8, 9 worth $25 each in each game. And the tenth box in each game worth $50. So that uh, brings you everything you need to know about the Candlepin Skins format. If you're new to the show, stick around. We think you'll enjoy it. We've got a great match coming up. Four break bowlers ready to go, and we're going to start this match right after this timeout. Don't go away. Okay, welcome back. And for the third consecutive week, Paul St. Pierre is here on Candlepin Skins. He's finished second the last two weeks. Big nine drop for Dan Gothier. No, nope, Paul misfired on that one. For the spare for Dan. Yes. And Paul St. Pierre will take the 10. And now the two Mikes. See Mike S and Mike C, Mike Sargent and Mike Curry on the scoreboard. This is Mike Sargent, of course. Well, hey, I would say calling somebody the Mike, the uh, George Foreman of Candlepin Bowling is a pretty high compliment now, it seeing as the guy's sure. heavyweight champion. Sure. <laughs> Who's going to argue with <laughs> And there you go. Spare for Mike Sargent to have the skin. Mike Curry chops his spare off. Just missing a spare, but we have a carry over the first box. Mike Curry making his first appearance with us here from Springfield, Vermont, traveling quite a distance to be with us. Mike is a longtime Canopin bowler, though. He's been on the WCBC Pro Bowlers Tour. $20 skin, box number two now. Dan Gothia drops eight on his spare. Not quite. Tried to use the wood. It's a little too deep for him. And Boy. Paul's got the full Worcester now. Yep. Nine box for Dan. I'll say Paul St. Pierre would love a nine, but he will take a seven. And once again, uh, a look at Mike Curry 
from Springfield, Vermont. Mike and his wife, Debbie, have uh, two children, Joshua and Jeremy. And Mike is going to have something to shoot at here, Ooh. I believe. Well, now it's getting worse. Probably wanted that one to stay up. Mike Sargent filling on a spare, uh, make it five. The skin is wide open here. Nine is the leading score right now for Dan Goffier. He's going to try to slap the wood off the sidewall. Nope. nope. Oh, yes, Mike Sargent, the spare for the skin. And $20, and Mike Curry will have to settle for another nine box. So two spares in a row for Mike Sargent, and this one gives him $20. Oh, big strike. Paul St. Pierre after the half Worcester in the last box. Oh, and did Dan match it? No. The six pin stays up. He's got a nice little guide on the six pin just to the left of it. He's going to miss, miss a little to the left, and the ball should uh, carry him off a piece of wood. Got it for the spare. The strike is good for the skin right now. Paul St. Pierre, and here it is. Yeah, no doubt about it, just tripping the four pin. Perfect pocket hit. Mike Sargent now filling a spare. With just three. Mike Curry can't match the strike, so give that $10 skin to Paul St. Pierre. And the, oh, no, not the first mark for Mike Curry. Mike Sargent will go out with a nine. And Mike Curry will take his third consecutive nine. So that skin goes to Paul St. Pierre. Worth $10, and now the fourth box will be worth $15. Dan Gothier to fire first, and it's the half Worcester. Now Paul St. Pierre, look out, leaves the two pin. Almost had a double strike. Without the strike, he'll take the uh, spare on strike. And he will. Dan Gothier with just that half Worcester two fill on his spare. And he'll go out with a nine. And gives him 48, a one pin advantage over Paul St. Pierre, but Paul's working on a spare. Mike Curry. First appearance with us here on the wins. Oh, there's a big first ball. Touch them all for a strike, and he may win the skin unless Mike Sargent matches it. So Mike Curry gets his first mark, and he makes it a paycheck as well. $15 with the skin. Oh, great shot. Mike Sargent for the spare. His Next. third mark. Great shot. Let's take a look at the strike. This for the skin, right in the 1-3 pocket. Eight pin goes, and then finally the four. Well, St. Pierre with just a five fill on his strike. Or on his spare, rather. Ball takes a nine, 61 half. And Dan Gothier takes an eight, a 56 half. Now the two Mikes come up, both working on marks. Mike Sargent will go first on lane 30, and he'll fill a spare. Mike Curry will go on lane 29, and he'll be filling on a strike. Only three for Mike Sargent's spare fill. Boy, this, uh, a 10 could win this skin right now. Yep, there'll be no marks. First Mike Sargent for the 10. No. And there's the skin win for Mike Curry. And that takes us to a break. Give that skin to Mike Curry for $15, his second skin in a row. He wins it with a 10 box. And we're back with more on Candlepin Skins.
in a minute. Well, through five boxes here, only five pins separate our four bowlers. <laughs> yeah, the scores aren't extremely high yet, but uh, very close, as Doug said. Just the six pin left for, for Dan, and it is a big strike by off the ball of Paul in his second one of the match. Dan will take the spare. Here's a look at all St. Pierre's strike Brooklyn side this time. You are supposed to throw strikes. <laughs> I said you are supposed to throw strikes. Mr. Spare. There you go. You deserve that. There's so many in the first couple of matches. Oh, oh, another great right first ball. Mike Curry matches the strike for Paul St. Pierre. We'll have a carry over here. You got your 10 bucks. I would say Mike Curry is feeling a little bit more comfortable now. Oh, great shot. Spare for Mike Sargent. All four bowlers put marks up in the sixth. All four bowlers with marks, and there is Mike Sargent's conversion on the spare. It's a carryover now to the seventh box, which is worth $40. Paul St. Pierre working on a strike, and here's Dan Gothier working on a spare. Just oh, it's two. happened so many times to Paul throwing a strike and having somebody take it away from him. He gets just eight on the strike. Missing the spare opportunity in the triangle. Nine box for Paul. Ooh, Dan Gothier was trying to cut that five pin over. Instead, he'll take a seven box. And you see him at 75, had two spares with only two on both of them. A spare eight to start off with. Mike Sargent to fill a spare with seven. And now Mike Curry working on a strike. Well, a spare could win the skin if only one of them makes a spare. Mike can't convert. And neither can the other Mike. And that's a six fill on the strike now. The nine of Paul St. Pierre and the nine of Mike Sargent, even right now for this skin. And it's still a nine. So unless Mike Curry gets 10, it's another <laughs> carryover. Two nines carry over the seventh box. And you see the score is still very, very close. And the eighth box will now be worth $65. Dan Goff here first. One, two, four, seven left for Dan. And Paul St. Pierre goes right through the center. Nine box for Dan. And it'll be an eight box for Paul St. Pierre. So the door open once again for the two mics. A $65 skin up for grabs here. Mike Curry has had two strikes, no spares yet. Mike Sargent right on the head pin, but look at the leave. Well, <laughs> If somebody's going to make a spare here, it's going to have to be a spectacular one. Whoa. Nine boxes kind of looking. Well, there's the tie anyways. Mike Again. Sargent could win it with a 10. Same as last box. Oh, there's another nine. Well, it comes down to this ball for Mike Sargent for the skin. And he's got it. A $65 skin with a 10 box for Mike Sargent. So he has the Skins money lead right now with $85. We move to the ninth box, which is worth $25. Oh, 
that close to a spare for Paul St. Pierre. The only one's been shut out so far in the skins is the gentleman you're watching right now. Oh, great effort there, too. 10 for Paul. Ten for Dan. All of a sudden, silent movies here. No marks for a while. Mike Sargent. On the head pin, nothing to show for it. Mike Curry is off. And here we go again. <laughs> well, should we suit up, Doug? <laughs> There's already, oh a carry, there's already a carryover with two tens if neither of these guys mark. And there you go. So the tenth box will be worth $75. Mike Sargent settles for a seven. And Mike Curry with an eight. Still just 12 pins separating the bowlers here after nine boxes. $75 on the line here in the tenth. Paul Dan Gothier first on lane 30. Dan held on to that ball just a little bit too long. Good first ball for Paul St. Pierre, but just eight and four and six left for Paul. Piece of wood though. It's Dan Gothier is waiting for a ruling on a piece of wood that's on lane 30. It looks like it's out of play. It's close. And uh, Cindy Sissom is removing it. Be a tough shot either way. Well, now Paul St. Pierre will shoot at the 4 6. <laughs> If he can get that wood jumping around, let's see. Oh, and the ball comes back, but not quite. Eight box for Dan Gothier, 102. Nine box for Paul St. Pierre, 115. And it's still wide open. I was going to say 115, maybe good enough for the lead. Depending on what the mics do here. $75 skin available. It may only take a 10 box to win it. Mike Curry first. A little heavy. Let's see. Oh. Oh, it's not going to carry the six pin or the seven. And he's not going to have a piece of wood. And Mike Sargent will have somewhat of a better leave, but not really a spare leave. Now well, Mike gave it a charge. Let's see what Mike Sargent can do. Nope. Well, it's big pins now. There's already a nine up, remember. <laughs> this to take the lead for the skin, no. Nope. So unless Mike Sargent makes this for a 10. Do you believe, oh no, <laughs> it's gonna have it. <laughs> Not quite. Two more nines, so another carryover to go into game two. First box of game two will be worth $85, but look how close those scores are. Just 13 pins separating the four bowlers after one, we'll be back here on Candle Pin Skins in a minute. All right, we're back on Candle Pin Skins. Here's the damage from the opening game. We've got a carryover into game two. Mike Sargent with $85 so far. Mike Curry has picked up a couple of skins and Paul St. Pierre won. Dan Gothier yet to get on the board yet, but really, Dan, nothing has been settled at all here because the scores are so close. And Paul St. Pierre will lead off game two in the lead, but not that far away from fourth. He'll shoot at the three six with a piece of wood in between, so if he's anywhere touching that three pin, he should, oh, no, he left it to the right. We have not had a mark since the uh, sixth box of that first game by anybody. Actually, in that six box, everybody marked, and no one has marked since then. The uh, final roll-off, by the way, for this uh, series of shows on Candlepin Skins held at the Meredith Lanes in Meredith, New Hampshire. I want to thank uh, Vic Tetro and the gang up there near the lake for their help. Dan Gothier. Thank you. 
This is an $85 carryover skin here to start game two, and it's just an eight for Dan. And right now, the 10 box is leading for that $85. Funny feeling, you know, some of the last two bowlers are going to get a mark, though. We're long overdue. Well, if Mike Sargent's going to have one, he's going to have make a heck of a shot. Look out! Look out! The ten pin will stay up. Hey, Ken, please. <laughs> that was Mike Curry <laughs> rooting for him to make the ten, and he does. So that leaves the uh, track clear now for Mike Curry. If he marks, he'll win the $85. Pressure's off as far as the carryover goes. It's all up to Mike. Throw a strike or spare, and it's yours. Oh, boy. <laughs> now Mike's real happy he doesn't have to throw a 10. <laughs> Brady go plus the five pin. By the way, if you're wondering how we determine the order of how the bowlers uh, roll here on candlepin skins, it goes by the order of the roll-off finish. And oh, how about oh. that? There's a great ten box. That's what he was trying to do with the second ball. Watch how quickly this goes. Paul St. Pierre will have to do a little house cleaning on lane 29 before he can continue, but you see another carryover with the 10 boxes, so now this second box will be worth $95. What I started to say is the, uh, the bowlers who finish higher in the roll-off get to go last in the order. So of these bowlers here today, Mike Curry finished highest in the current roll-off. We mentioned Mike Curry and Mike Sargent actually tied. Mike Curry gets the high position based on his high single in the roll-off, which was 158. Mike Sargent's high game in the roll-off, just 127. Oh, I'm beginning to wonder if we're gonna see any more marks today. <laughs> That's a six box for Paul St. Pierre. Again, the cumulative two game totals are on the bottom of the screen. When we get to that computer again, you'll notice that the cumulative scores for the two games are being added as the game continues on the bottom. So you'll get a clear picture as to where everybody is as we look for those top two finishers to return next week. Dan Gothier, no. Eight box for Dan. And he's in the lead right now <laughs> for this skin. $95 on the line here. Mike Sargent pulls it to the left. Same leave he had last time, right? Last box. Really is, yeah. He left a 10 pin last time. Let's see if he can do one pin better. No, only one pin with the second ball. Well, again, Mike Curry is going to have the. Uh, stage all to himself here and all he has to beat is an eight now this is pressure you've got to have a nine box for ninety five dollars <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'd like to do it on the first ball and get it over with well there's seven he needs two of these for the money and he has two chances a long time since we've had a mark. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> let's see if we can hear something down below while, uh, while Mike shoots for this. Oh, he's got it. He bounced it. <laughs> but the big cheer goes up. A $95 nine box for Mike Curry. I don't think he wanted to let himself smile coming back, but he did receive the congratulations of his fellow competitors. Mike Curry now with $125 in prize money to take over the lead in that department. Well, 
Paul St. Pierre waiting for that wood to roll out some more. That's what he wants. Go way to the left. What do you think? Uh, I don't think so. I think no. you're going to go right and snap it. Yeah, see, it, was, it was out away from the pin. And it, either way, it's going to be a difficult shot because you have to hit the eight pin and then come back forward for the six. Or you can try to cut the six over, but it's only an eight box. And, uh, well, we're nearing the halfway point. Maybe I can go down and tell the bowlers that, look, strikes and spares are pretty neat. <laughs> try them out once in a while. <laughs> May win some cash, too. Dan Gothier. In the pocket. Oh, boy, oh, tough boy. Break there. Five, Those were ten. two good pocket hits by both guys. If they both end up with splits. Taking uh, all the bowlers together now. That's 26 consecutive boxes without a mark. Not had a mark since the sixth box of the first game. Mike Sargent with a big hit. And he will at least have something to shoot at. And he's got it. Now you would call that the wily veteran, right? Playing the wood? Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Page out of my own book. <laughs> This is a $10 skin, and Mike Sargent leads for it right now. Oh my, Ooh. and he's looking in good shape. This Mike Curry can throw a strike ball here and convert this. There you go. That'll be a $10 skin for Mike Sargent. And a seven box for Mike Curry. Let's check the uh, totals here as we move down to the bottom. You see Paul St. Pierre is still in the lead, but Mike Sargent will probably take the lead with the fill on that spare in the third. Here's Paul. Six ten, no wood. Two pins in the right-hand corner for a spare. Nope. $15 skin on the line here in the fourth. Ten box for Paul St. Pierre. Dan Gothier came up just short of the 1-3 pocket. Four horsemen left. One, two, four, and seven. A piece of wood between the four and the seven should help. Still looking for his first skin. Oh, oh, right there. Ten box. Nobody wants to jump out and get the lead in this match. Oh, waiting for that home stretch. Last three or four boxes, I guess. This is on a fill. It's a big fill for Mike Sargent on his spare. Nine. That gives him the lead. Total pinfall. Chance for another. You bet. Two in a row. The way this is going, uh, two or three marks in a row might be enough to just cinch it. Mike Curry. Misses the head pin, but look out. Well, he's got a chance to uh, take this skin away from Mike Sargent, but it's not going to be easy on the seven pin. Wow. Well, will that drive back? That's the question. Well, you got a double piece, and now the second piece is rolling. Something you would think would come off the wall and take the seven pin, but you never know. You'll find out with us. Oh, yeah. Spare from Mike Curry, that halves the skin. We'll carry it over to the fifth box, which will now be worth $40. I take it back, $30. $30 skin available here in the fifth. Paul St. Pierre has gone eight boxes without a mark. Well, he's got the one, two, and four now to shoot at. Just try to hit that head pin and... He's got it. Goes. The clean pickup. 
even the regular spare leaves seem difficult when you've gone in a dry spell. Absolutely. You start steering the ball, pressing a little bit. Dan, Goth when Dan Gothier, Dan, has also gone eight boxes without a mark. Especially when the match is close like this, because they know the two highest total pinfall bowlers for the two games come back next week. Three, six, ten, and the eight pin. Nope. It's a nine for Dan. 45 for the halfway point for him. Still not out of it, though. It's at 147, as you can see at the bottom of the screen. Nobody's Mike, out of it now. Uh, Mike Sargent working on another spare. Needs one more. <laughs> Doesn't get it, but let's see if he can convert this. Three pieces of wood in front of the eight. Let's see, he needs some help with the 10. I no. A little farther left on that. I think probably Mike was doing the same thing, but missed it to the right. Ten box for Mike. Now Mike Curry will work on a spare. Mike Sargent is going to have the uh, overall lead, though, here with five boxes to go. Just two on the fill. Spare for Paul St. Pierre looking... Uh, Pretty good right now for the skin. Up, oh, not anymore. <laughs> Mike Curry converts it for the spare to have the skin. We will carry it over to box number six in this very close match when we return in a minute. St. Pierre with a strike in the six. The six box is a $45 carryover. And Paul St. Pierre in charge. Right here, looked like the four and six. The six topples and then finally the four. Here's Dan Gothier. Well, this uh, badly needed of a mark. It's gone you know, nine boxes now, I believe. Yep. Three, six, and ten. There it is. Got it. But Paul St. Pierre still leads for the skin. Of course, the strike trumps the spare. Mike Sargent. Look out, this could match it. Nope, he'll come up one short. But all four bowlers going down the stretch are pretty close. And starting to heat up a little bit. Some marks come on the scoreboard, Ooh, but Mike, Mike Sargent misses. Box. Well, that opens the door for the other three with Mike in the lead. We'll have to take the 10. I see uh, Dan Gothier is at 55, but he's working on a spare. Mike Curry is working on a spare as we speak. He'll be bowling in the sixth frame. If he doesn't throw a strike, the skin goes to Paul St. Pierre, and Paul got himself one there. <laughs> I think he was waiting for the strike. <laughs> That's a $45 skin for Paul St. Pierre. Dan Gothier has still uh, been shut out in skins. Nine box for Mike Curry. Look at those scores, still very, very tight. 22 pins separating the top of, well, actually 27 pins. Paul St. Pierre working on a strike. Comes up short with that ball, though. The seventh box worth $25. Just six on the strike. But enough to take the lead, at least temporarily, until Mike Sargent bowls his seventh frame. This is an important fill right here for Dan Gothier. Yeah, it's time for him to make his move. He's going to get back in the total pinfall race. Oh, oh there you go. Big nine drop. 
A chance for another. It's the five pin. All the wood is behind it. Not frozen. It's gonna have no, to hit it. Pull it left. Nope. That was the ball he wanted. Ten box. Mike Sargent with another big first ball, 6-10. The chance at a spare. And a chance to win the skin. So watch for that double wood out front. Got it. Just drove everything right straight back. It looked a lot easier than it was. So now he'll take the lead for the skin. And the lead in the match. Mike Curry pulled that one to the left. For the spare. Oh, yes! He halves the skin with Mike Sargent. That's a big spare, too, for Mike Curry. Let's take another look. Sure was, not only for the score, but he took the skin right out of Mike Sargent's pocket. Mike was counting on that one. <laughs> so the eighth box is worth $50. Paul St. Pierre now. He wanted the wood to stop. It turned a little bit more on him. Paul St. Pierre's got to be careful. Both of the other bowlers are working on marks. One is ahead of him by a pin, and the other is uh, 14 pins behind. Oh, nice out by Paul. He wanted to go for the out that time. He knew he had to try and make something happen. A risky shot, but it paid off for him with the nine box. Dan Gothier on the head pin, but look at the leave. Once that wood this, well, was gonna roll a little left, he wants it to come back to the right so he can use the ball off the wood for the 6-10. Still gotta get everything moving. Nothing happening on the right side. Nine box, couple of nines already. Hey look, somebody hit 200. <laughs> Total. Mike Sargent now on a spare. No, oh right through the center, spread eagle, just four. And he was the one that was leading, so this is going to tighten things up even more. Going to the final two frames. No, oh, Mike did what he wanted to do. He played it inside, but he could not throw anything over to the right. Well, it's two nine boxes up there for the skin. Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, here's Mike Curry again. He's been in this situation a couple of times. Working on a spare, that's important, but you'd like to put at least a 10 box up, but of course you'd like to nail the mark for that total pinfall. Well, that wood will probably be in play. It's going to have to be checked, but in play is probably better than out of play. Get a, get a pin flying around down there. Oh, maybe it is out of play. I think it is. Yep. So it'll be the 2, 5, and 10 with no wood. Remember, he must beat a 9 to win the skin. So here's one of those situations where you, you don't want to think about the skin because you're going to worry about pinfall here. That's right. Well... Unless he makes this shot, he's going to carry over again. It does. Nine boxes carry it over with two boxes to go. Let's check the totals. Mike Sargent by four over Paul St. Pierre and by nine over third place Mike Curry. Two boxes to go and this ninth box will be worth $75. Paul really St. Pierre first. And Dan Gauthier at 185 is not out of it if he were to throw two marks up. Oh boy, oh. cut it too thin on the left-hand side of the four pin.
ten, ten bucks. bucks. <laughs> well, it's a must mark box for Dan Gothier. Oh, oh boy. my. A one eight nine shot. Well, this is two weeks in a row now that we've seen the previous week's winner really struggle. It happened to Dan Broder last week, and it's happening to Dan Gothier right now. And Dan will take a seven. So that will leave him in trouble. He really needed a mark there. Because he's got to beat at least two guys. And Mike Sargent appeared to stick on that ball. The problem at the uh, foul line. Chopped out just one. Now he's trying to bail out. But he'll have no mark. And of course Paul St. Pierre is sitting with a 10 box for the skin. Eight for Mike. And here comes Mike Curry. Mike works for the uh, wastewater division of the town of Springfield, Vermont. If he marks here in the ninth, he will win a $75 skin, and he'll have that to shoot at, the one, two, and nine. Regardless of what happens, this match is going down to the final frame. Determine who's coming back. Oh, oh how close. did he miss? <laughs> how did he miss? Well, of course, he has to get this to have the skin. Or else it'll go to Paul St. Pierre. Yeah. He's got it. And the last skin of the day is going to be worth $125. Let's see what happened on the spare drive. Head pin off the wall, over that piece of wood, and never touched the nine. All right, Paul St. Pierre is in second place by two skins. Uh, by two skins, by two bins. <laughs> <laughs> Two skinny pins. <laughs> Mike Curry is in third right now. He is seven pins behind Paul St. Pierre. Well, and that makes mark. that a very big spare in the tenth. Boy, it's all coming down to this last box. $125 skin. And the pinfall situation. Still very much in doubt. Paul's fill is eight. And that is... 115 matching 115s and a total of 230 for Paul St. Pierre. Well, for them to catch Paul now, I believe it's going to take a couple strikes by both bowlers, so Paul is in a good, pretty good position. Oh, strike! Dan Goffier strike in the 10th. I mean, he's been shut out all day on the skins. <laughs> Kicks out the six pin. See him throw another strike. It might be a little interesting. Now he's pulling this one. But he is leading for the skin. Yes. Unless somebody matches that strike. Mike Curry is going to have to match it in order to have a chance to come back next week. 109 for Dan Gothier. Two game total, 211. That will not be enough. It's going to come down to either Mike Sargent or Mike Curry for second place. And if Mike Sargent marks, he's going to make it very difficult for Mike Curry. Yeah, he's only one mark behind Mike Sargent now, but this would put him in a double strike situation. Look out. But no. Now it comes down to you don't want to leave too many pins standing and make them that much easier for him on the fill if he were to get a mark. There's oh. the 10 for Mike Sargent, 114, 224. So a 20 box will win the right. second place. Mike Curry will need 20. And if we have a tie, those two bowlers will bowl another box. Oh, oh boy. Well, he's got to convert this. <laughs> Dan Gothier is thrilled because he just won $125. I thought that was Mike Sarzen. I said, wait a minute, he can still get the spare, Mike. <laughs> Dan Gothier's not coming back, but he does have $125. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be Mike Sargent returning a nine box for Mike Curry to wrap it up. 109 and a two game total of 214. So very, very close. Paul St. Pierre with the 230 and Mike Sargent with the 224 will return next week and will return with more on Candlepin Skins in a minute.
Welcome back, everybody, to the Londonderry Bowling Center. Doug Brown along with Dan Murphy. The uh, the scores were not high, but this match stayed close throughout, and that's the way it went right down to the bottom. Yeah, it's still Canopin Bowling, right <laughs> down to the very last box, and uh, never knowing who the two bowls are going to come back. Great match. All right, let's check the final scores. The total pinfall, just 19 pins from first to last place this week. Paul St. Pierre for the third week in a row will come back. This is the first time that he's finished first. Mike Sargent in second place. He'll be back next week. Mike Curry and uh, Dan Gothier will each be heading home, and let's check and see how everybody did for money. Well, what do you know? The two guys who are leading, leaving have the $125 each in skins money. Mike Sargent and Paul St. Pierre will be coming back next week, and for Paul, it'll be uh, four weeks in a row, and we got a little chance to chat here. I, I know you must like the format because you keep doing well. Now you got to try and win some more money, too. Yeah, but I'd rather just win this. That way I can keep coming back. <laughs> By the time I get to the seventh, eighth tape, and maybe I'll win 100 bucks. Okay. <laughs> well, next week, uh, when you come back through, we'll have uh, Dennis Valcourt and Rich Lottie to join you and Mike Sargent. Are you enjoying the format? Uh, this is great. I was on the first one, and I hope they keep this up. It's a fun game. All right. We appreciate you being here. Congratulations again, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. That's Paul St. Pierre. And, uh, again, don't forget, next Saturday at noon, Candlepin Skins. It'll be Paul St. Pierre, Mike Sargent, Dennis Valcourt, and Rich Lottie. And don't forget, tomorrow at noon on Candlepin Stars and Strikes from Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, we will have our third match of that series as Paul Berger will go for his third win in a row. He'll be facing number two seed Mark Gregory. Until tomorrow at noon, for Dan Murphy and the whole crew, I'm Doug Brown. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>